Hello there, you guys. It is me, Abracadabra VG, playing some more Fallout 3. We are joined by Amelia as she adventures through this disgusting wasteland. Um, uh, yeah, I'm only a water bottle. What were we doing last time? It, oh, nothing. Okay. Let's go get access to Bolt Hold then. Where is that at? That is far, far away. Well, let's have some fun. Doing an hour long power hour thing. Going with for an hour at least. Which I know has been kind of normal. Maybe I'll do a two hour power hour. Two, two, two hour power hours. Let's do it. Let's just do it. I'll just play for two hours. All of us here thank you for everything you've done. For us. For the Wastes. We pulled together and got you this. It's the best we could do. Please take it. Thank you. Certainly, thank you. you. Sweet. They're just gonna give me random stuff forever. For saving all their lives. Fine with that. Uh, where is the exit this place? There it is. Right up here. Pull that door, girlies! It's hot. You're letting in all that hot air. So we have at least some room for him. This way, where? Where's the exit? For this ancient weapon of war is our salvation. Oi, girlies! Either outside or in your room or something. Not in here. This isn't your room. Oh, bye bye. All right, let's get out of this place, huh? Let's get out of here. Hello there, robot. Hello there, people. I wonder how... Oh, that was... That was What's the big idea? I want to talk to Doc Hoff. Jesus. For your fix? I'm here to buy. Let's see, see what, what I can the talk. doctor has in his magic Yeah, Yeah, lots of frag mines. You want more frag mines? Come on. Rag grenades. Let's see what he has to sell to me, though. That might be nice. Some food, some water. Uh, you wanna on a speak? Let's do it. Um, the generic, not expensive stuff. Why did I buy all those? Those are expensive as heck. For only 20. No, where's. 8. I don't want. Yeah, new controllers. Don't have any use for them. Water. You know what? That's fine. I just want the food type stuff. Yeah. Pleasure doing business with you. I have to go. Bye. Bye. Off to n the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Relatively. Oh man, this is gonna be a fun hour. Um. <laughs> you guys wanna skip? That's fine. Oh. Yeah, I'll go out. Oh, hello. Okay. You hit like a bus. Hit him in the face. You're gonna to hit him. It was a 95% chance to hit. Like, come on. Good lordy, lord, lord. That was one of them. Good lord. Y'all guay meat. Oh. Damage plus 10%. That actually is pretty dang good. No wonder it's 30 bucks a pop. Doesn't really do much other than that, though. Is it more money, though? That could be useful. I'll just have to pop some of that before I get into a fight. Well, that was interesting. <laughs> Alright, continuing our endeavor towards the uh, Bolt 112. 
let's take this road. Let's stick on the road a little bit. Man, I was. I've never seen one of those in this game. Which is because I've never really gotten very far, but. I guess it's my own fault. My next playthrough. My, my only two playthroughs right now that I'm doing. Is it two? I have Darkest Dungeon and. Uh, Shadowrun, Dragonfall. I think those are the only two, like, game playthroughs I'm currently doing. I might also start New Vegas soon. But maybe not. I probably will finish this one before I start New Vegas. If I can get to New Vegas, it is. Which, if you guys were wondering, I. What's a dude? Oh, that's a robot thing. Those bad? Are those generally bad? Um, let's, let's avoid that and go this way. Let's just kind of cut through here instead. Let's like try to cut through without actually having to fight too much. Uh, I definitely want to play some like modded Skyrim stuff, just like random modded mods that I find. That sounds like fun. Maybe even blindly play through a... Uh, what is that game? The Oblivion. I might blindly play that, because I've never actually played that at all. Oh, float flies! Uh, gross. There, got it. Ugh, stop doing it. I don't need that big old crazy looking gun. Oh come on, I hit it. There. Two bullets for two experience. Yay! The days you wish I had something like a melee weapon. Oh, Alright. Definitely will probably want to play it. I might play through Oblivion. Eh. Ooh, a thing. Place. Is this good thing, place? Oh, it doesn't look like it. Oh, I see explosives. Don't know what that means. Is this okay? Is this all good? That's, that's, um, radiation right there. Bad stuff. What's dangerous about this place? I mean, obviously it's dangerous, but oh. Hello there, I didn't see you there. Oh my god, I hate fighting these things. They take too much damage. Oh boy, you can jump up here? Okay. Gross, it sounds really fast. I don't like fast things. Let's get that stinger off. Let's blow that thing off. There we go. Oh, it's one of those gerbil thingies. Okay. They're just gerbils. They're just giant gerbils. Headshot. Hot D. Come on. I was like, why would it open? Let's shoot that head off. There we go. There we go. That's all done. Jeez Louise, this poor shotgun's been getting a lot of use. It's my strongest gun, I think. At least my strongest short range weapon like that. I need to go back and get all that meat and stuff. I need everything I can get.
Poison glands. Ooh, 30 bucks for poison glands? Definitely will be taking those. Where's the other one? Was there only two of them? Yeah, there's only two of them. I need to heal up. Let's aid ourselves. Um, crunchy, crunchy mutt food. Some dirty water. Let's sort of get as much. Cola. Um, red water. I need to get rid of this little radiation poison. And I just need one of them. All good. Better than just wasting all my things. Oh, go away, that. All right, making our way. Making our way. Dun, 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 dun. All right. Oh, just keep on swimming. Keep on swimming. I guess there's no real clean water to swim in, so that's probably not a good idea. Oh, enemies? Aw oh, man, more of you? Okay. I don't know how much more damage this will do to them, but maybe it will. Yeah. Yeah. Be scared. Of course it's not affecting them at all. Eh. Eh. <laughs> leave me alone, bugs. No, leave me alone, robot. Stop it. Stop it. Quit it. Quit it. Quit it. Stop. Stop it! Go away! That dog just ran out the doggy door. I don't know. It's a dog running away. So I don't feel like fighting red scorpions, even if they're worth thirty gold or monies or battle caps, whatever. So they're not worth fighting. Need drink water. Ugh. It looks like there's things to do over here, but I don't feel like doing any of them. Walking as fast as we can. Because apparently you can't have a sprint. Like, seriously? That's like a very light jog for me, at least. I don't know how heavy of a jog that would be for other people, but that's pretty light for me. Like, what? About 10 feet, maybe 5 seconds? It's like one step a second. Maybe 15, so about maybe 3 feet a second. Step and a half. Ah, gross. Gross. Go away. Uh, gross. Ah, uh, dangerous things. God dang mole rats. Hey there! Um... Shoot your leg off. Cause apparently that's the less evil way of killing it. And what about you? Your appendage needs shot off too. I guess this isn't really going to do too much damage.
What the hell? Dude, bro. Come on. Really? There's raiders? God damn. One blow with that. Let's get a couple headshots. Blow his head all. He apparently took out the raider. You are just stupid. Get out of here. God dang it. Quit wasting my time. Let's get some more goodies. Mm-mm, delicious. Oof. What is this? This must not be much right now. Maybe there will be a... Or wait, is that... Is this where I'm supposed to be then? Let's have a quick little save here. We'll save it. You know, not over that one, over this one. Yes. This looks like it's the entrance to it. Does it? Oh. Apparently there's people in here. Oh. Rad Roach, okay. I was like, what? What could be in here? <laughs> Nothing anymore. <laughs> um, anything really worth it here? Uh, suitcase, Nicola, that's it. Tumblers today, fission batteries, baseball glove, oh, this is crap. Uh, anything on here? Anything? At all? Okay, continuing on. Kill the other enemies and get the only good stuff. Of course. I knew that that was gonna happen. Just kidding. Scrap metal! Sweet. That's right. Sell the scrap metal. I guess you little freaking thing. Motorcycle, hand bike, hand brake, hand brick, a hand a brick. Doesn't look like anything else really. Gun cabinet, hell's yeah. These are gun cabinet. Whatever, doesn't matter. <laughs> Sweet. Okay, heading down into the uh, depths. Of what I'm going to guess is supposed to be Vault 112. God dang it! That made me jump a little bit. Gosh darn it. Ooh, level up. Sweet! Alright. Let's level this up to 40. This up to 45. Let's then do. Let's do sneak up to 35. Prepare up to 50. And let's do small guns. Which I'm doing so much into energy weapons now, and then I'm going to do some small guns next. Just everything. Okay. Let's go with. Um, Fortune Finder, maybe? 
Yeah. That'd be nice, but honestly, it's the best thing. Uh, best thing probably. Let's go with. What do all these ones do? Time attack mutate insect. Forever. Forever. Yeah. What takes. What is that? At the first rank of this perk, animals simply won't protect. At the second rank, they will actually come to your aid in combat. Wow. That's at level 10. Sounds good. Yao Guai. Well, oh, that's cool. Oh, I'm hungry. Oh, that sucks. Let's go with maybe Scrounger. Or. Scrounger or Fortune Finder. Let's go with Scrounger. Sounds like good, good fun, good wholesome fun. All right, let's save it before I go down there, though. Nope. I think it. Save. Capital. I'm gonna be ton house. Let's go. I need to find the quick save button. Ho oh, ho ho! Vault of Twelve! Oh. What? Oh. So, what I want to know is. Why is this one hidden by another building when the other one, the one I came out of, 101, was just, you know, came right out the side of a mountain, like a mine of some sort? That's silly. Come on. Make them all the same. Make them hidden, yet not. I need light. I can't see stuff. Welcome to Vault 112, resident. According to sensors, you have arrived 202.3 years behind schedule. Okay. Please redress in your Vault Tech issued Vault suit before proceeding. If you have misplaced your suit, I am authorized to distribute a new one. Once dressed, please proceed down the stairs to the main floor so that you may enter your assigned Tranquility Lounger. A uh huh. Lounger is available. Please. Let's put it on. Take that off. Which weapons can I repair some of the weapons? Can I repair any of my weapons? Yep, there we go. Which, let's actually attach the, um, the, uh, scope manual. Attach that. Please take a seat in the Tranquility Lounger. Okay. Let's go. Are there people in here? Um, I don't know why I crouch. I'm gonna guess that it doesn't matter since nobody's here. Apparently these are filled with cigarettes, though. Which is funny, though. That's one of the few things that are in this world that they live in. Why would there be cigarettes? That should be something they've gotten rid of. So you don't have people having cancer, and then you don't have, you know, all that bad crap that comes with cigarettes. Wow, 114 darts. What am I even going to do with those? You know what, I'll take it. If I find a freaking dart gun, I'm going to be so darted up. Metal helmets. What is the point of any of that? Whatever. Who knows? 
Can't do anything with that. First aid. Let's take it all. There's nobody else is here, right? No other humans. I feel like if you didn't put that stuff on and then just sort of ran around here, you might get told to put it on, but I don't know. I don't want to take this. No access. Authorized personnel only. Ooh. Let's not take a chance. Oh, wow. There is people in there. That's creepy. That's really quite creepy. Can I... Do I... Display resident status. Wow, that's a really fast rate of fire, but okay. Rate of speed. Yeah. B. Stress level? Nominal. Okay. I don't fully know what's going on here. This is kind of creepy, actually. <laughs> to be completely honest. Let's try this door. What's in here? Anything in here of importance to me? Doesn't look like anything important to me, specifically. Wait, oh, this door. Oh. Looks like an armory of sorts. I might check that out before I leave. If I'm willing to fight some robots, you know. For the most part, I'm looking for my pops or whatever, right? So. That's authorized personnel only. Hello, ma'am. Hey there. Wait a minute. Where am I going? Where am I supposed to go? I'm confused. Local map. I guess I'm supposed to be down there. But where? Oh. I'm actually supposed to get in. Okay. I'm not super excited about this. Me, my giant 44 caliber pistol with scope and everything. So is everyone else just doing this? It is. Oh, that was kind of creepy. Then take a drink of water. Huh? I'm a, I'm a child. It's the kid me. Why? Well, oh, it's such an ugly kid. Do I have... I... That's cute, actually. It's kind of funny. Alright. So I don't fully know what's going on, but... Hey there, sport. Beautiful day, isn't it? Say, you should go talk to Betty. She's waiting for you over on the playground. Okay, where's my dad, though? Where would I go to find him? Hiya. Hi there. I'm Timmy. Your dad? Nope, I haven't. What? You're. <laughs> Bye, really? Timmy. And, uh. Can't loot. Obviously, it's a dream world. Let's just see how humans react to uh, never seeing this terrible Rockwell residence. Are we supposed to just know where to go? Ah, whatever. Let's go to the playground. Whatever. Oh, he. Oh. Good doggy. Good doggy. Okay. Just hey there, oh, buddy. Someone new to play with. What good luck I have lately. I was just starting to get bored. 
Oh, we're going to have so much fun. And you are? Gee, I don't know. What's he like? Look, I know he's in here. I mean, in the vault. Dr. Brown. <laughs> That's your daddy? Oh, we're going to have so much fun. This is going to be the best game ever. No oh, thanks. No games for me. No games. You tell me when I'm probably right now, you little brat. No thanks. No games for me. <laughs> you don't get to say no. If I want to play a game, you're going to play. And I want to. I knew you okay. would. It's a really simple game. All you have to do is make Timmy Newsbum cry. Okay. It'll be funny. Come on, you'll see. Make him cry, and then come back here, okay. and we'll talk some more. This is twisted. We're just gonna go make fun of a kid, make him cry. I know he's not real, but it's kind of messed up. But that's what this simulation wants you to do. Hi, wanna play? What? Did I do something bad? <laughs> no, 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 not my mommy and daddy, no. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. God. You lost karma. Mm. Betty, you're a terrible human being to make me do that. Perhaps not the most inventive approach, but persuasion can be quite powerful. Well done. Uh huh. And for winning the game, you get a prize. You get to ask one question and receive an honest answer. Yep. Where's my father? Ah, yes. A predictable question, I suppose. Your father is here. In Tranquility Lane. He's quite safe for now, though he can no longer hound me with his incessant questioning. Perhaps you will see more of him. Oh, I don't have to do to see him. Ah, now that is just the sort of question you should be asking. Yep. You understand that I am in control then? Excellent. You are far more promising than your father. What do you want me to do? Pay a visit to the Rockwells. They're very happily married. And I'd like you to change that. Why? Put an end to their marriage. And we'll talk. God, that's so twisted. Fine, it's only because I want more answers from you. Rationalize it anywhere you'd like. If you succeed, we'll continue. Yeah. Rationalize it, please. Where's the Rockwells? I don't remember where the Rockwells were. It's Henderson residence. I think this one is not wrong. Simpson. That one. One of these. Hello. Ah, Rockwell. Okay. Good day to you. Horrible thing to say. Our marriage? Well, goodness, what kind of a question is that? Mabel didn't put you up to this, did she? What a silly thing to ask about. Your dad? No, I haven't. Yeah, sure. Um. Have a go. great day. Where's your husband? I need to try the same thing on him. Possibly. Good. Hey there, little lady. How's it going? Now see here. That's not anything for you to be asking about. Our marriage is our business and it's private. Why can't people just understand that and just leave us alone? Uh-huh. 
Now that's not funny. Not one bit. He disappeared on you, huh? Don't worry, I'm sure you'll find... Nice day, You won't it? find a day like this anywhere else. Yep. Heck of a place to live. Janet and I, well, we're quite happy here. Uh, this is real. It's all some crazy experiment. Sure, sport, whatever you say. <laughs> That's cool. Take care now. Of course, it wasn't going to be. to you. What? Now that's a ridiculous thing to say. You kids need to find some different games to play. <sighs> Roger suggested we move here. I don't quite remember when that was. It's very nice. We're doing quite well. None of this is real. Oh, you're such a kidder. God damn it. I had to go. God damn it. God damn it. Sleep. I don't know if that did it for reals in real life. IRL mode. You. You don't belong here. You're not supposed to be here. It's not real. None of it. We're not really here. We're not really talking. <sighs> it's all made up. Make believe. Sleep. We're sleeping. Dreaming. The dream became a nightmare. It has to end. It just has to. But we're not in charge. He is. And he doesn't want us to wake up. He calls himself Betty now, but he's still the same. He can put on a new face all he likes, but underneath he's still evil. Braun. Bastard thinks because he helped create this place, he's God here. But I know he still uses the fail-safe terminal. I know it. Mm, what fail-safe? What the hell are you talking about? It's in the abandoned house. He doesn't want us going in there because he's afraid we might find it. It's the only terminal to the outside. The only way to shut the whole thing down. You've got to find it. So my theory is is that this guy, Braun, was alive before it's all of this. Has to be. Has to be in there. Hi, you kiddo. What's Now what's a kid like you want to know about that? But well, shut up. Take Um Yeah, no. Don't you look where you're going. <laughs> Look where I'm going. Why would I look where I'm going? That's just silly. Simpson residence. Where's the abandoned house? Henderson residence. Which house is abandoned? These are inherently no. Dither's residence. That's her house then. What home? Hello. Abandoned house. Oh, that's just creepy as all hell. Oh, this is creepy. It's good, it's creepy. That's cool. I hate the background music. Can you guys even hear that? Okay, let's turn it up. Let's turn it up a couple. Audio. God, that music's giving me more creeps in this house. Anything else to activate? Okay. Okay. Ah. Is there something else to activate that I can't see? Ah. What? So 
Something else? Anything else? Why would I why would any human being drink from a toilet? No matter how thirsty. This is nasty. I don't know. Okay, let's go upstairs. Come on. Uh, what is going on? Alright. What did that do? Did that do anything? No. What? Is there something else I just can't see? What? 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 No. Uh. I'm so confused. All right, I'll come back to that. So, um, no, I don't understand. Hello. Good day to you. I don't know what sort of thing you'd want to hear. Oh, but I suppose that's not really something you should concern yourself with. All in the past. <laughs> what? Okay. Take so I need to go find Hello. this house, right? This is great house, correct? Correct, Rockwell? Yes. Yes. Where's your wife? What? 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 What is going on? Sit on the couch? No. Where am I supposed to do? Oh, it's just nasty looking. What is that? Ugh. Oh, there we go. This is what I was looking for. Hello, sweetie. How are you? Oh. Doesn't seem to make any difference. Take care now. Sweet. Alright. Hi, Roger. What's going on? I was thinking of having a cookout soon, since the weather has been so wonderful. Makes you proud to be an American, doesn't it? I'm certainly grateful for everything. Oh. Can I put this down here? I'm confused. Maybe if I go kill somebody else with it? And... Is that too sadistic? Hello, sweetie. How are you? Why are you asking me? I don't know anything. And why should I care about their marriage anyway? Okay. People around here should mind their own business. Um. Sorry, kiddo, but I'm not... Um. I don't think so, but then I have... I suppose. I hadn't really noticed. I like it well enough, I suppose. Mabel is good company most of the time. And, well, the other neighbors are most... 
Oh my god. I don't understand. This backyard. What, what, what's in the backyard? Nothing back here? Are you sure? God damn. What am I supposed to do? Yeah, I'm genuinely confused. Just knocking around, no biggie. Hiya, kiddo. What's the good word? God dang it. Now, what's a kid like you want to know about that? Well, don't you worry your head about it. They worked out their problems a while ago. Haven't heard. I gotta get going. I wonder what would happen if I come in here and just brutally murder someone. Good day to you. Well, they're just so nice, aren't they? It's good the two of them worked everything out. Oh, I... Well, I'm not one to talk, but there was that fight last year. Everyone could hear them arguing. Arch Janet thought there was something going on with Roger and Martha Simpson. He eventually convinced her it wasn't true. But I've seen the way Martha looks at him. Janet may believe him, but I sure don't. Mm. Tip? Oh, I wouldn't call it that. Just some. <laughs> Janet, where's Janet? Who's Janet? Maybe brutally, mur brutally murdering someone is out of the question. Janet, who though? I don't see any jamming out here. Hey, you slut. Where's Janet? Was that Janet? Or Martha, or whatever. Hello. Well, hi there. Um. Well, George and I have been here. Why? Yep, you're useless. Ugh. Hello? Hey there, little lady. Their marriage? Janet's a good woman. It's a good thing oh. that Roger... Okay. Sounds like you've been spending too much time with your nose and those darned... Bye. Bye. Yes. Comic books. I read comic books, you guys. Can we... I don't know what that means. Alright, so I'm looking for Martha. Martha what? Hello. Hiya, kiddo. What's the good? Alright, they say we're dead and they say isn't it? Can you tell me about the neighborhood? Nice place. Real nice. Everyone's friendly. Is well, you ought to tell that to my big toe, kiddo. Hurts like the dickens since I stubbed it earlier today. Feels pretty real. Bye. Where do I have to go? What is up with the side entrance? That is not okay. Well, who's Martha? Martha. Martha. Turning the delinquents of today into the leaders tomorrow. Ah! <laughs> That's pretty funny. I wonder if this is actually what it was like back in like the 40s and 50s. If kids could just literally run around people's houses. I doubt it, but... There's always that possibility. Alright. Um, that's a useless freaking gate. Hello. This whole place kind of is just texturally one of the worst parts of the game so far. Which is interesting because the rest of the game is kind of just dirty. Dirty, dirty, dirty. 
Try placing... Nothing. Alrighty then. Well, hi there. Um. Our Mabel didn't. No, leave me alone about Mabel. I just want to know what I'm supposed to do. I mean, where are the only kid? That's starting to creep me out more. Like, am I just super mistaken on what's going on? <laughs> I can take a drink of water. That's funny. Simpson, Martha Simpson. This one's. Hello, sweetie. How are you? Why are you asking me? I don't know anything. And why should I care about their marriage? There's no story. Never was. Roger and I... I wanted... Oh, I don't know. I thought there was something between us. No, that's not true. I, I know there was. But Roger pushed me away. Tried to deny it. Even Janet knew it was there. She fought with him over it. I think she still suspects something. I try to stay away from Roger, <laughs> just to avoid giving her a reason to hate me more. Have a great day. Good day. Are they just hanging out, I guess? That's a very awkward... Now I have no clue which house to go to, because I don't have good memory. Oh, they're literally direct neighbors. Sweet, it makes it way easier. And the wife's still just sitting there. Good day to you. Our married? Mabel didn't put you. God dang it. Bye. Well, hi there. Now, see here. Why can't. Ah. What am I supposed to do? Then, if not that, oh man, then what am I supposed to do? I'm just confused with what that is. What, what does any of this mean? Can I steal an item from somebody else's house and then put it there, or...? Hello. Good day. Oh man, I don't understand what's going on anymore. Why are they the only ones with a basement, too? That's starting to get really spooky. What's up with the basement and only one house? Like, why? What does it mean? Um I don't understand. Good day to you. Why are you at people I just got the info. I don't understand what am I supposed to do? Ah Does that do anything? Nope. I'm just carrying around this thing on my waist like it's no big. No biggie. Lacy underwear. Hmm, I don't... Am I able to bring it to her and then Hello. put it in? And then I can put it on the bottom and then I can say, hey, there's some ladies underwear and she'll be like, that's not mine. Good day. <laughs> I'm a genius. <laughs> well, hi there. What were you doing in our basement? Oh, 
okay if you say so. Okay. What's this? Women's clothing? Down here? Yeah, I know, right? What? What the hell is this? Looks like Roger is a fan of women's clothing. So it's not yours? What is this doing here? Maybe it's his, you know, for him to wear when no one is looking? My god! I knew it! I knew it! <laughs> yeah! Don't see the point of that, but yeah. I'm an evil person. I don't fully know what to do about the house. That's why I'm like, I can't do nothing. Oh, oh Lord. Poor Janet. You have turned out to be quite resourceful, it seems. I am slightly impressed. I enjoy your company far more than your father's. He responded quite negatively to my requests. You have amused me thus far, but I still don't think you're quite in a position to be demanding anything. Still, I suppose you've earned the right to some further answers. What would you ask of me? Um... Where's my father now? Here, and he is unharmed. He has merely been rendered unable to bother me. Oh dear, now you don't even believe me. How disappointing. No shit. I assure you, James and I talked at length before you arrived. Now let's continue before I grow bored with you. Your sarcasm is unappreciated. This could be so much fun if you'd allow... Now... Mabel Henderson needs to die. Not just any death, mind you, but an entertaining, well thought out death. You'll see to that. Very simple. Plenty of opportunity to show me what you're capable of. She'll never see it coming. I don't want to do this, but I will. Of course you will. And you never know. Maybe the pitchers are the answers. Answers. Door to Henderson. Hello. The Henderson estate is in. The Henderson estate is in tip-top shape, young miss. Have a wonderful day. Initiate meeting program. Initiate security program. Disable security screening. I don't fully. What? Okay. I suppose that's pretty creative. The Henderson estate is in tip top shape, young miss. Have a wonderful day. Where is she at, you know? Where is Miss Henderson then? Hello. Good day. Good day to you. Well, sure I can. Let me just go light the oven to get it warm. Thank you. Oh god. I'm doing the bad way, but I mean it does it really have any effect? In the end, oh, I don't want to wait forever. Shouldn't have blown up. Ooh. 
Wait. Wasn't that what should have happened? She should have gone in, she should have blown up. Where is she? Well, hi there. Mabel's a good friend to me. She's always interested in what's going on with my life, which is more. I'll sometimes go over to her house and chat while she's baking. Okay. So I don't know if that did it or not. Yolo. Good afternoon to you too. Oh lord. I'm a terrible person, I know. Well, appliances certainly can be dangerous, can't they? You are most resourceful, and you certainly do get results. You have exceeded my expectations. And now, we come to the last tasks that I have for you. Succeed, and you shall be granted whatever you wish. Focusing, you're forcing me to do things against my nature, and I hate you for it. I don't recall asking for your feelings on the matter. If it has not been made perfectly clear to you, I am in control here. I dictate your actions. You will continue to do exactly as I say, or you will find yourself suffering from a sudden and inexplicable aneurysm. <laughs> and that's if I'm feeling generous. For now, though, you will become the pint-sized slasher. You will kill everyone in Tranquility Lane. And you will do this because I say so. Behind the abandoned house, in the doghouse, are a knife and a mask. You will use them to terrorize the residents of this quaint little street. The hell is a pint-sized slasher? He is a figure of myth. Born of old campfire stories. You will make him a reality. The residents will know you and they will fear you. When they have all been eliminated. Because I can, of course. I have total power here. I may do whatever I wish. And over these many years, I have found that I wish to... I am afraid you're not in a position now. Okay, this is just a theory. It's probably not a good theory. I'm gonna try this out. Yeah. What? What? You can't do that here, and now you have to pay. Oh, can't kill her. All right. Abandoned house. Not behind the abandoned house. Let's try going in the abandoned house for a little while. Try out that little uh, deal thing we had working out. Door to abandoned house. Okay, let's find out where I can put this stupid. Why? Oh, it is just music, okay. You have to be pretty smart to do this. Hmm. Yes! Yes! I did it! Woo! That was hard. Oh. 
Oh my god, ugh. Oh. Okay, access Chinese invasion program. There are days I can sit in and rolling the blood. In the end, both the simulation and the system chases Chinese invasion program. I wouldn't want it any other way or so I thought. It's true the failsafe would scare the living hell out of every resident in Billy Lane and lead to their brutal deaths, but then what about me? I have no ability to disable my own safety from this in this animation. And any and any other avatars I could create would be driven by the simulation's AI routine. It's not actually the subject. Quit it! Quit it. Was fun and girls, get out! 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 Tormenting machine, and so the release of the real world subjects is more than they deserve. More than I could bear. They'd be dead, and I'd be left here in tranquility, laying alone and tragically bored for all eternity. I can think of nothing more unacceptable. Okay. Back. Access version control. Display current version control. Expectations granted for pod 001. Override pods disabled remote. Access allowed. User S. Braun has privileges of the Robots. S. Braun. Records allowed. User unknown. Granted access. S. Braun. Display previous version notes. The program Tranquility Lane loaded on the base of run. All of the previous versions of wipe on the base of run. Alright, so it kind of looks like I can not do too much. Come to the realization that the Tukama Goon simulation has run its course. I'm tired of the beating sun and ceases pounding the blue moon's waves on the shore. I no longer take pleasure in watching Simpson wither away from scurvy or hearing new bomb screams as he's powered by the Mago Park. I am quite simply bored. It is, it is time to reset the simulation once again. Okay, so I've I haven't been skiing in ages. <laughs> so like Chillet Hey Yesterday did there slip on the chalet's ice icy stairs, went airborne and managed to impale himself on the round iron pen. So they're already dead. All of them have died. It looks like. I've suppressed myself. Surprised myself. Find tranquility lane comforting. You know, distinctly American. It somehow reminds me of grown up. The town of my childhood. There's a beautiful irony with this particular assimilation as well. The uh, residents here are naturally at home, naturally safe. What with them? And their suburban illusion is suddenly broken, it's that much more satisfying. I do believe we shall all remain here in completely for a very long time. A very long time indeed. Okay, so the only thing for me to also read is program documentation. Here is a revised code for the military training program. Interested. I'm not sure exactly what you want with it, and I again stress that this program was never designed to be run with civilian equipment. Frankly, I do not expect any system you have access to can even run it. But if you can run this program with the failsafe off, as requested, the real world test subjects will die if killed in the simulation. It goes without saying that officially I denied your request, General Constantine Chase. 
purpose simulated communist version on the US Isle. Save the safety protocol. Six of a rage target information on the test of the real world company. Proceed with stream five. Power that shit is down. I'm gonna head dang it on this button. Save it over this tranquility thing crap. Okay, so uh, I think it was Henderson House that had the uh, thingy, the computer. The one where I killed the lady. That lady's dead, I think. Which is unfortunate, but I couldn't figure that out earlier. Good day. Not that one. It's this one right there, I think. Henderson. Simpson. This one. It's one of these houses. I have the worst memory of basement ever. Henderson Residence. There's this thing right here. Computer terminal. Oh. Okay. So that wasn't part of it then. Good day to you, young miss. Go away. So I guess Hello. the only thing that is left to do is terminate. So this house, can I? Yeah, house. Access Chinese invasion program. Initiate Chinese invasion failsafe. You've gained karma. What? What are they doing? Is it just me that's kind of silly out by this? They're, they're saying that they're good guys. I don't fully know what's going on, but yeah. <laughs> Activate exit. Oh boy. Oh boy. Items. I need to attach my goodies just in case. What am I saying just in case? Of course, this is going to be dangerous. I actually got a combo on it. I'm going to get a 10 millimeter. Nah, let's get that out. I need this locker. Hey, Dad. It pops. You've saved me. I was afraid I'd be trapped in there forever. Oh, it's so good to see you. What, what are you doing here? Uh, what are you doing here? You could have been killed. Well, I didn't expect Dr. Braun to be alive and insane. I thought I'd just find notes or holotapes. I needed information about Braun and his work on the Gek. Did you get the information you needed? I did indeed. Braun's work... The GEC was designed to readapt environments for living after a nuclear war. It's not entirely stable, but I'm sure that components of that technology are just what we need. What we've been missing all this time. Mm -hmm. We need to return to Rivet. Okay. Once Madison knows about the GEC, I can get her to see that it really will work. I can't do this on my own. Madison. Dr. Lee has a team of scientists working at Rivet City. They'll have to help. The facility hasn't been used in years. There'll be enough work for a good number of people, and it will take us a while. The sooner I get to Rivet City, the sooner Madison and I can get to work. Yes, what about you? Why in fact are you outside the vault at all? I don't even want to know how you got out. As much as I appreciate your help, you were supposed to stay there to make a life for yourself there, not out here. You left me there without saying goodbye. What was I supposed to do? Yeah, Is that so? Please. You're 19 years old. Are you so sure you know what you want from life already? I yeah. suppose it doesn't matter now. I suspect there's no going back for either of us. Nope. We'll just have to fool no, ahead, won't we? 
Okay, let's head for Rivet City. That's my girl. Let's hurry. Now that I know what we need, I want to get back to work as soon as possible. Of course, honey. What's on your mind? Just need to ask a question. How could you leave me like that? What the hell are you thinking? I wanted you to be safe. I didn't want this for you. A life out here in this what? godforsaken war zone. What? I couldn't tell you True. what I was doing because I didn't want you following me. A plan which clearly was not as successful as I imagined it would be. Well, when they start hunting you down... Oh, my child. If only you could have known how much it meant to her. She believed in the work we were doing and was so determined to see it through. She gave up so much for this project. We all did. And I don't want that to have been for nothing. So am I, my love. While this isn't what I had in mind, it's good to have you with me. Good, good, good. What's the big deal about water anyway? That's good. Be careful, sweetie. Hello, ma'am. Hello, ma'am. Gonna completely ignore the um assault rifle on your back and the uh, combat rifle, that's the combat armor and all the combat combatant type of stuff on you currently. I'm just gonna let you go on your merry way. Sweet, that actually ended up not being too bad. Which, <laughs> what's my karma at? Can you look at your karma? Is that a thing you can just look at? General. Perks. Skills. Karma. Oh god, I have a minus. Is that from the combat armor? It can't be from my combat armor. It doesn't give me minus, I don't think. Yeah, no. What's that from? Status. If my my radiation's destroying me, okay. Let's go ahead and get that taken care of. Um, skills, perks, general. Uh, where's the karma? How do you know what karma you got? Oh, I'm very good. Urban. Okay. Ugh, I had to run all the way out of here, and then had to. Ugh. Dad! Dad! I'll make it there first. Dang. Alright, that was interesting. Let's just flash there like badasses, because I really don't like running back. Boy, would that take that. Alrighty then. Oh, lovely. I have to call back this, don't I? Welcome to Rivet City. There we go. Hey. Wonder if I oh saw. Oh, my God. Some. Uh oh. Oh, please. Sorry, friend. I thought I had some. Oh, yeah, I drank it earlier. Ha! <laughs> Sorry. That's terrible. Oh, the Lord. What does the Zellner arrow mean? What? what, am I supposed to follow him? You're funny. If you think I'm gonna follow him? Haha, <laughs> you're funny, funny. You're a funny, funny man. Oh, let's beep him. Good to see you. Yes. God dang it, mom! I'm trying to record here. I'm texting my mom because she wants me and my brother to come over, but he's not even here. Don't worry. 
she worries herself too much. Too much. Way too much. We were both joining the military and just freaking out all the time. Alright. Going downstairs, right? Where is it? Uh, yes, to the left. To the left. St. Monica's Church, Science Lab. Do this way. Um, this way. Can I? Hello, ma'am. Oh, hello. Science Lab, this I'm way. Close. Science Lab left. Hello. Science Lab. Alrighty then. <laughs> Just gonna hop on down yes. here. Don't touch the vegetables. What can I do for you? What? There what? Fragile. What do you need? Lay what is this not good enough? I guess I can wait seven hours. Exhaust my character, but you know. I told you it would work, Madison, and now I can prove it. James, you're back. <sighs> and with good news. I was right about Braun and the Gek. If we can find one, we can adapt it to work with the purifiers. Do you I'd like to believe you, James. I really all would. This is all just so. Up so sudden. Madison, I'm telling you, this is real. I talked to Braun himself. He confirmed it. Don't you see? This is what we've been waiting for. I... I don't know, James. So many years have passed. Is it really still worth trying? How could it not be worth improving the lives of everyone in the Wasteland? What could be a more worthy endeavor? You haven't lost any of your passion, have you, James? It's as important to me as ever, Madison. I know it's important to you too. Let's finish it together. James, I... we don't have a Gek. I can get a small team together, but we'll need proof that it works before people believe us. I know, I was thinking about that. The lab at the facility had some old pre-war computers that we scavenged. One of them might be useful. From the last reports, there's no power at the facility. Even if one of those computers had a database, we couldn't access it. That's why we're going to head over there right now and get things up and running as best we can. You know, if it were anyone else asking me to do this, I'd have them run right out of Rivet City. And you know I wouldn't be here if I didn't think this would really work. It's time, Madison. Damn you, James. When this is all over, you owe me a drink. I'll get the team together. Thank you, Madison. It's good to be working with you again. Hey. You found him? You have my thanks. We would be lost without James. Told you I'd find him. So you did. I apologize for entertaining the thought of doubting you. I have faith in your father. With the knowledge, With the knowledge he's gained, gained, we stand a better, a better chance, chance than we ever have. Farewell. Since apparently I Is can't... Is everything alright? Is everything alright? We need to get back to Project Purity. The computer there is our best chance to locate a Gek. Won't that be dangerous? Probably, but we have to try, don't we? It's too important for the people of the Wasteland to let fear stop us now. We need to get moving right away. Are you coming with us? Alright, let's get going. That's my girl. It'll be good to work side by side with you, honey. Still got a little while. Let's go ahead and heal up at, um... Um... I just need somewhere to heal up and get rid of this radiation, and I just don't remember where to go. So I just need to find anybody. Hello, person! Good to see you. Hey, I'm on duty. Make it quick. Um, panel else, can you help me? I suppose. Uh, where can I get medical help? Dr. Preston is in the upper deck, four section. That's the top interior floor in the southwest end. Okay. See you later. Bye. Thank you.
So I need to go up. Upstairs. Door to stairwell. The Weatherly Hotel Campbell's. I suppose it's possible that it's just right up this way. Ah, Rivet City Clinic, sweet. We do have a Rivet City Clinic. Bannon's door. Ugh, that lag go away. Go away there, laggy. Are you looking at me? Are you looking at me? Are you looking at me? This way. This is kind of exciting, isn't it? Oh. So what? Is he in here somewhere? Where is he? No. I just, I, I, doctors. I just would like yeah. to get rid of my radiation point of poison. This is kind of exciting. Isn't I sure hope so. Or it's just going to... Okay. Um... What is that lag coming from? Is it just that one stupid leak that just doesn't need to exist at all? What are you looking at? That's why hey there. I don't know if I like this. I understand it's important. Uh... Yeah. I'm in here. Good old Rivet City. <clears throat> Me too. Nothing is getting through the Where end. is the doctor? Patient is unconscious. What the hell? Yeah, okay, I get it. But there's nobody here taking care of it. Well I hope they do something. Why does why have hospital? It's a hospital guy just gonna leave. Ah! What? All right. So apparently we're gonna have to cut it short due to uh the game just crashing. So yeah. Awkward, you guys. Bye.